As an entrepreneur, you have so many things to tend to in your online business. You have emails to send out, you have marketing funnels to create. But what if you could automate processes so that you have less manual work while at the same time making more sales and getting more engagement? And what if this only took a few minutes to set up? I'll show you how you can do just that coming right up. Hi, I'm Christine with Thrive Themes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, don't forget to click that subscribe button. So one of the challenges of creating an online business is putting people through marketing funnels and making sure that the right person is shown the right offer at the right time. Because for example, you don't want to market your advanced course to beginners and vice versa. And you don't want to ask your entire list for a testimonial when some people on your list may never have purchased one of your products. That can be a huge turnoff for your audience and it makes people less likely to buy from you in the future. And sorting all of that out manually can take a lot of time. So what we've done at Thrive Themes is we have created a tool that will automate workflows so that you can automate tasks between different Thrive Suite plugins, as well as your favorite third party tools. It's called Thrive Automator. So I'd like to show you two examples of things you can do with Thrive Automator. In the first example, we're going to put together an evergreen sales funnel. The idea being that you can use the first few lessons of a premium online course as a lead magnet, and when someone completes those free lessons, they are then sent offers to purchase the rest of the course. And to encourage people to buy, we will also offer a limited time discount. So this type of funnel can help you sell online courses on autopilot. Now for the person who has just completed the free lessons, they will receive an email inviting them to purchase the rest of the course, and that email will link to a sales page. On that sales page, a Thrive Ultimatum campaign will display a countdown timer to indicate that it's a limited time offer and to encourage the visitor to take action. So to set this up in Thrive Automator, you will need to have the elements already prepared. So you'll need to have created a course in Thrive Apprentice. You'll also need to have set up an autoresponder email with your email marketing service. You'll also need to have the sales page done for your premium course and you'll need to have set up a Thrive Ultimatum campaign to display a countdown timer. Once all of that is done, setting up an automation is really very easy. So this is the Thrive Automator dashboard, and this is what it's going to look like when you have some automations up and running. Each automation has icons representing the triggers and the actions, so it's easy to see what you've got running at a glance. So let's go ahead and let's start a new automation. The first thing you'll have to do is set a trigger. And as you can see, there are lots of different trigger options. For this example, we will choose user completes all free lessons in a premium course. Then we'll need to specify which course we are referring to. So let's go ahead and let's add a filter. So we want this automation to happen for a specific course. So we will choose course title, and then we'll choose a specific course. Next, we'll need to specify what action will occur. So let's go ahead and let's add another action. And then we'll select tag user in autoresponder. Let's specify our email marketing service. And then let's specify a tag. And the last action we want to happen is we want to start an ultimatum campaign. So let's go ahead and let's add another action. And we'll select start an ultimatum campaign. And then you can simply select the ultimatum campaign. And when you're ready to actually start running your campaign, you can go ahead and publish it. And that's it. With just a few clicks, you can automate your entire sales funnel. Your audience will go through the stages of your funnel at just the right time, because each step is triggered by their actions, putting them in the perfect position to buy your products. Next, I'd like to show you one more example of how you can use Thrive Automator. So let's say that you would like to collect testimonials from people who have completed an online course. In Thrive Automator, you can set it so that when someone completes a course, they will be sent an email asking for a testimonial, 
and you can sweeten the deal with an offer of a free bonus. So when the testimonial has been completed, you can grant them access to the bonus. And in this case, the bonus is going to be a free mini course. So again, you will need to set up the elements of this automation first. So you'll need to set up your online course. You'll also need to set up your method for collecting testimonials. We are going to be using a survey built in Thrive Quiz Builder and you will also need to create the bonus mini course. Once all of those have been created, you can head on over to Thrive Automator. So for this example, we'll actually set up two automations. We'll start by asking for a testimonial when someone completes a course. So let's go ahead and let's add a new automation and we'll need to select a trigger. So for this one, we will select user completes a lesson in a course. And then we will need to specify which lesson that is. So let's go ahead and let's add a filter. Under select field, we will do lesson title. And let's select the last lesson in the course. And for the action that we want to occur, we want to tag the user in an autoresponder. So let's select our email service. And let's go ahead and add a tag. So let's go ahead and save and finish this automation and I'll go ahead and publish it. Then in your email service, you'll need to set up a campaign to send an email asking for a testimonial whenever a user is tagged with that specific tag. Moving on to the second automation, we want to grant users access to a free course when they've completed the testimonial. So let's go ahead and let's add a new automation. For the trigger, we want this to be when a user completes a quiz. And then we'll need to specify exactly which quiz we are talking about. So let's go ahead and let's add a filter. And then we'll need to use the quiz title. And then we'll need to select the title of the quiz. Next, we'll need to specify what the action is. So we want to enroll the user in a course. And then we'll just need to select what course that is. And that's it. So let's go ahead and click save and finish and I will publish that automation. So that's just a quick overview of how Thrive Automator works. And I hope you can see just how easy it is to use and how powerful it can be. Get Thrive Automator along with the rest of our tools when you purchase Thrive Suite. Visit thrivethemes.com suite to buy Thrive Suite today.